Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, please consider subscribing. And if you're not new, thank you guys so much for coming back. Thank you guys so much for sticking with me. I really appreciate your support. It has been a very long time since I filmed a video. I am sorry, but also I am not sorry. I just kind of needed a break. I was feeling a little bit uninspired, if you will. And I never want to just put out videos just to put out videos. And I never want to put out videos and feel like blah, you know? So I needed a break. It was great. Thank you guys so much for coming back. Thank you guys so much for still supporting me. I appreciate you guys. And if you ever want to see me more often, follow me on TikTok and on Instagram because I am a lot more like consistent over there. I'm on there, but you'll see a little bit of a different side of me over there. But I do post on there more frequently. They are always linked down below. Anyways, today we are going to be talking about, I'm going to be calling it my May favorites, but it's like April and May favorites because I didn't do an April fav favorites. And I have quite a few things. I have some fragrance, but I also have some kind of like lifestyle, beauty kind of things. So I think I'm going to start with those items first and get them out of the way. And then I will talk about my favorite fragrances of the month, the ones that I wore like on repeat. So I guess let's start with a body product. This is kind of cheating, but it's scented. So I guess it does have fragrance in it. Um, this is by The Body Shop and it's their Lemon Protecting Hand and Body Lotion. Um, it says it protects for 72 hours, but this is what this looks like, okay? I love The Body Shop. As you know, I love their body butters, but I'm a sucker for hand creams because I have like very dry hands. I'm constantly washing them, sanitizing them, washing the dishes, bathing my kids. Like, so my hands go through it and I'm addicted to hand lotions. Like they never go to waste. This one, first of all, it is very hydrating, but the scent of this, especially for this time of year, it smells like literally like citrusy lemons, like real, like freshly cut lemons. It's not too sweet. It's very like citrusy, even like a tiny bit like sharp, if you will. Like if you know what a real fresh lemon smells like because of that like lemon peel mixed with the juice of the lemon, it gives it a little bit of a sharpness, like a real lemon. I love the smell of this and it is very hydrating. Does it hydrate my hands for 72 hours? No, but I don't think any lotion would only because, um, never fails. I always get a fluff on my face, but only because I'm constantly washing my hands, constantly sanitizing my hands, something like my hands are always going through it. So it doesn't have 72 hours to just sit on my skin, you know? So does it hydrate for 72 hours? No, but while it's on my skin, it is very hydrating. It's moisturizing um and it's not one of those lotions that feels like it just like disappears plus the smell of it in general especially for this time of the year amazing i love it and this size is like honestly really generous it says you could use it on your body too i don't but you could but you could do that with any cream that's just like a marketing thing next up let's talk about this i'm honestly surprised i haven't talked about this yet because i use this so much this is kind of random but this is like honestly like a life-saving hack so this is essentially like a clear mascara for your hair it's by the brand flash moment i got my mine on amazon i'm pretty sure it came in a two-pack i will try and leave it down below but if you typed in like clear hair mascara i'm pretty sure it would come up anyways i got mine in a two pack and i use it all the time for like when i do my hair like this in a ponytail a slick back bun i do my hair like this all the time especially when it's dirty when i don't feel like washing it when i'm being lazy it's quick it's easy but um if you ever get like those flyaways or you have baby hairs that you want to tame if you're postpartum and you have like new hairs growing in that's when i really started using this this is a lifesaver so it is literally what i just said essentially it is like a mascara wand it is a clear kind of mascara type of product it's not mascara it's for your hair but that is literally what it reminds me of a clear mascara you brush it onto your hair this brush brushes your um baby hairs down if you don't follow me on instagram i mean you should like i said but i post on there i recently got like a botched haircut so i have like bangs pretty much that i hate they drive me crazy because they sit at a very weird spot and i would have to style them all the time which i don't have time for so i use this and i kind of just slip them back and you can't even tell um and it doesn't leave like your hair feeling hard or sticky or anything like that so you can still like move your hair but 
if you want to slick it back in a ponytail or something it looks good i also use it when my hair is down like not just in a ponytail i use it when my hair is down and straight just to like tame the baby hairs up at the top so that's that and then i guess let's talk about what i'm wearing on my lips i recently came back from mexico and when i went on vacation i literally only took two like lip products two lip glosses basically um and this is one of them this is by pat mcgrath this is the mini one but i'm pretty sure this is from their like permanent collection this is just a mini size it came in like a lip kit and this is called sunset rose that's the shade this is what this looks like i'm wearing it on my lips right now sunset rose is like the name is perfect because this is basically like a muted rose this is like a very light kind of like dusty pink shade there is like if you look at it there's gold shimmer in there but it's not like a thick glitter you can't see like actual sparkles on your lip it just makes your lips look very like pearlescent not even like pearlescent it's not like pearly really it just makes your lips look so juicy um and the color is honestly so this is what the color looks like First of all, look at that shine. Look at how juicy and glossy that is. The color is perfect, like a pinky muted rose. For my lips and my skin tone, this is literally like my lips but better because this is almost the shade of my natural lips. So what I did was I took this on vacation and I loved it because this is a universal color. Like I could wear it with any outfit. It flatters like me all the time. This looks good with everything. I only use a lip liner, but I always do that. You could use it without a lip liner. I always use a lip liner. Um, but it's it has just enough pigment that I didn't need to wear a lipstick underneath. It doesn't look weird. Some glosses, if they're too sheer, you know what I mean? It looks a little weird. But this one um, has just enough pigment, but not so much that you would need to line your lips. If you don't want to line your lips, you don't have to. I do it just because I like to. But um, anyways, perfect, perfect color for me. It's like my lips but better, pretty natural, universally flattering. It looks good with every outfit. It's just, this was like a one and done kind of thing. And I had two people while we were away ask me what I was wearing because it just looks honestly so juicy your lips look so good it makes your lips look so plump um so i love that and then i think the last kind of random item no i have to i lied um this is again this is what i have on my toes right now i'm not going to show you my toes just because that gets weird there's people out there like anyways um but this is a nail polish by revlon it's called ultra hd snap and the shade of this is 002 making the most making the most and basically this is the cutest baby yellow it's almost like my nails don't mind my nails they definitely need a fill um but anyways I, I I'm just having like a love affair with this baby yellow this is just a tiny bit lighter and brighter than my nails right now but this is a very affordable nail polish however it lasted me my whole trip when I was away and I love the brush. So I'm very picky about my nail polish brushes. I don't know why I'm weird like that. I don't like the tiny circular brushes because I feel like when you're um, painting your nails, it gets streaky. I love this one because if you can tell, this is one of those ones that's um, wider but thin. So you don't need to do as many like strokes to paint your nails, if you know what I mean. So it doesn't leave it streaky. And I just like those type of brushes. I'm weird, I know. And the color of this, it was so affordable, but it dried very quickly. It lasted me the whole week and I was in the pool, in the beach, like you know what I mean? Like when you're on vacation, that's a true test of nail polish um, because I did it myself. So I'm not a professional. And this color, a lot of people like to do white toes and white nails, like fingernails. I love that too. Don't get me wrong. But yellow is just as cute. It's still like a very pastel, cute color. It looks beautiful with a tan and I just love it. I've honestly been loving like this kind of pastel yellow and this shade this was honestly so cheap and i love this color this is the cutest color yellow my bottle's dirty don't mind that i'm a hot mess so next up this is a big one for me because for me to talk about a hair conditioner if you know me you know i have used the macadamia hair conditioner for years and years and years i have turned so many people onto that i still love it she's still a love of mine however 
I decided because I've been using it for so many years that I was going to try something new. So I picked this up during the Sephora sale. This is by Day or Die. D-A-E. First of all, the packaging, so cute. Kind of matches my vibe. Um, but yes, I picked this up during the sale and I did not have high hopes because I have tried a lot of hair masks, hair conditioners. I'm very picky about them. Um, because I have I have wavy hair, so when my hair is dry, it gives you the illusion that I have thick hair. However, I do not. The texture of it, I feel like sometimes when it's dry, people think it's thick, but it's not. It's fine. Um, it's a little bit thin, like, and it can get weighed down very easily, which is why I'm so picky with hair masks, because I find a lot of the times they condition my hair and I can brush through my hair like butter but then they make it heavy they weigh it down it feels like there's product in my hair I hate that so I'm so picky anyways this is the day monsoon moisture mask this first of all in the reviews people were saying this smells like um cigarettes uh I don't find that at all and if it does then I want to smell like cigarettes because this smells to me like a sexy man it is a unisex scent it's a little bit masculine this smells kind of like I guess like a little bit like woody that's how I would think maybe smoky but more so woody and it smells delicious in my opinion yes it smells a little bit masculine but I like that but this I did not have high hopes for because I love my macadamia one so much and I've used it forever but this literally I'm not going to say it trumps it it's too soon to say however I have not purchased my macadamia one again and I do not feel the need to at the moment because this conditions my hair just as well. I can brush through my hair so easily with this. It does not weigh my ha hair down. It does not feel greasy. It hydrates it. Um, all good things. Honestly, I don't wash my hair that often and I don't use regular conditioner because I'm not washing my hair all the time. So when I do wash my hair, I usually just use like a moisture mask, which is what my macadamia one was. So I feel like it does the same thing. I'm not going to say it's better yet. However, I am going to say I love them equally, which is huge for me since I have been using the macadamia one for years and I really like this. This, however, I feel it gives me a little bit more of a shine after in a good way. Not like a greasy, weighing your hair down kind of way. Like a good shine, which my macadamia one doesn't do. That's why I'm saying like in the future it could trump it. At the moment it's too early to say, but I love it equally, which that's huge in itself. Now, that was a lot of talking about random things. Let's get into the fragrances, which I know all of you are here for. Um, first up, this is the fragrance. I got this recently and I did a whole review on it, so I'm not going to talk too much about it. I will leave the review link down below or you can check my channel. But this is by Ellis Brooklyn and it is called Sunfruit. I got the travel spray during the sale only because I wasn't sure if I was going to like it. Um, again, it's called Sunfruit, but this to me, even in my review, I said this was like love at first sniff. I love the smell of this. Oh, this has pear and bergamot. The opening of this is literally mouth-watering delicious. I'm obsessed with the pear and the bergamot in this. This smells like warm summer skin. It smells so good. If you want to see the whole review, check it out on my channel. But basically, warm summer skin. There's pear, there's bergamot. It smells fruity, yet warm, delicious. The bergamot fades but I don't even care. I would respray this just for the opening. This reminds me a little bit of Escape to Panarea by Dolce & Gabbana Light Bloom, but that one's discontinued. Oh, the smell of that is magnificent. I wore this all week in Mexico. I love this. I will be buying a full bottle. That's that. And then let's talk about this guy. Um, this is Aqua di Parma Mandorlo di Sicilia. This is what this one looks like and I love this I know I got this as a summer scent and I think I could wear this year round to be very honest with you this is essentially just like a very kind of simple creamy almond if you love almond scents this is a delicious almond scent this is obviously unisex too however I do find it a little bit more feminine but it's very simple, so it could very easily be unisex, and I would love to smell this on a man, actually. This smells, like, honestly, if you like almond, this is a very kind of simple, like, creamy almond scent. But it also reminds me, especially in the opening, 
of a root beer float. Creamy, sweet, delicious, kind of simple. So you could wear this on its own or you could layer it. Um, I did layer it last year, but I also really do like to wear it on its own because I love almond. It's like an almond paste. Think of it like that. But it really reminds me of like a root beer float. I say a root beer float because there's something in this that reminds me of root beer. But I say a float because there's a creaminess to it. So think of like a dollop of ice cream, like a root beer float. That's what this reminds me of. Next up, I'm going to talk about one that I have loved since I got, but I stopped talking about it or I didn't want to talk about it because um, everyone told me it was discontinued and it very well might be. However, when I went to my Sephora today, they had this in stock, so you can still find this in store. Um, if it is discontinued, I'm not sure. It could be, but I'm still able to find it in store. So check stores by you. This is Giorgio Armani C. It doesn't say which one it is. I can't read the bottom of this right now, but um, I think it's Fiori. It's the one in the baby pink bottle. I'm not a huge fan of the bottle, but I love the scent of this. I just sprayed it, especially for spring. Because this has rose in it, I always associate like floral rose scents with spring. I would wear this in the summer too. I would not wear this in the winter or the fall, I don't think. Just because of that rose, there's like a freshness to rose that spring and summer is when I would wear it. But this is not a straight up rose scent. Think of like strawberries and cream like or a strawberry milk. Because yes, there's like a berry, like strawberries in here, but covered. It's very creamy, very like lactonic. So like strawberry milkshake maybe with rose. So it's very feminine, but the rose is very feminine. It's definitely kind of like dainty. I'm not typically a rose person. However, because there's like a gourmand quality to this with that like creaminess that strawberry creaminess it's yes it's a floral scent so you do have to like florals but there's like a gourmand touch to it which I really like that makes it wearable for me I love the kind of like strawberry milkiness it's very feminine but it makes the rose for me wearable because I'm not a huge rose person but because it's like a strawberry milkshake mixed with rose I really really like that but it's not overly gourmand it's not like sickly so yes, but I do get the rose. So I just want to warn you. Yes, it has a gourmand touch to it, but it's not, it's not like a straight up gourmand because there's definitely, you do get the rose. Last but not least, let's talk about the most affordable one. This is one that I wear literally when I'm at home and I just want to smell delicious. This is like a whole, when I want to smell like a whole snack, meal, feast, if you will. <laughs> um, When I'm at home, this is honestly just like, I don't wear this out because it doesn't last that long. So I wear this literally if I'm just at home, but I want to smell good. Maybe I don't want to spray my expensive stuff. But this is like a happy scent. It's definitely uplifting. This is so juicy. The name says it all. It's called Strawberry Pound Cake by Bath & Body Works. I'm pretty sure this is sold year round. Maybe not in store, but online because I got mine in the wintertime. And I also had the candle of this. This is a gourmand lover's dream honestly this is the name literally says it all it's called strawberry pound cake the strawberries in this is so juicy and mouth-watering it's delicious is it synthetic yes it is do i care not at all it smells so good my husband likes this too but he's a sucker for anything sweet dessert-esque um the only thing is that the reason i don't wear it out is it doesn't last that long but i don't really care because it smells so good that's why i wear it at home if I just want to have like something to uplift me, maybe I want to smell good, maybe I want him to follow me around, <laughs> you know, this just smells delicious. Yes, it smells like strawberry cake. The name says it all. It's cakey. It's like strawberries and cream. Strawberry cake. That is what it is. But the strawberry in that is like juicy, delicious, mouth-watering, and it smells like true strawberries, except obviously synthetic strawberries but I don't even care this smells so good yes it's affordable um is it for everyone no is it a little bit juvenile yes but it still smells good anyways those are all of my favorites I really hope you guys like this video I'm sorry I was so chatty I think that's what happens when you don't film that often and I really missed it so I hope you guys like this video if you did be sure to give me a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe 
check me out on Instagram and TikTok. They're always linked down below, and I will see you guys in the next one.